This is journalist Sylvester Kisia. Today we want to discuss about the 48 laws of power. 48 laws of power has been divided into four chapters. Chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3 and chapter 4 as a comparison of 12 laws each. Let's start with chapter 1. Law number 1. Never outshine the master. Always make those above you feel comfortably superior. In your desire to please or impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talent or you might accomplish the opposite, inspire fear and insecurity. Make your master appear more brilliant than they are and you will attain the heat of power. Law number 2. Never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemy. Be worried of friends. They will betray you more quickly, for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical, but hire a former enemy, and he will be more loyal than a friend, because he has more to prove. In fact, you have more to fear from friends than from enemy. If you have no enemy, find a way to make them. Law number three, conceal your intention. Keep people of balance and in dark by never revealing the purpose behind your action. If they have no clue what you are up to, they cannot prepare defense, guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in enough smoke, and by the time they realize your intention, it will be too late. Law number four. Always say less than necessary. When you are trying to impress people with the words, the more you say, the more common you appear and the less in control. Even if you are saying something banal, it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended and spin-like. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. Law number five. So much depends on repetition. Guard it with your life. Repetition is the cornerstone of power. Through repetition, alone you can intimidate and win. Once it sleeps, however, you are vulnerable and will be attacked on all sides. Make your repetition unsaleable. Always be a light to potential attack and talk to them before they happen. Meanwhile, learn to destroy your enemy by opening holes in their own repetition. Then stand aside and let the problem opinion on them. Law number six, court attention at all cost. Everything is judged by its appearance. What is unseen count for nothing. Never let yourself get lost in the crowd, then or buried in oblivion. Stand out, be conspicuous at all cost. Make yourself a magnet of attention by appearing larger, more colorful, more mysterious than the blood and timid masses. Law Number 7. Get others to do work for you, but always take the credit. Use the wisdom, knowledge, and knowledge work of other people to further your own cause. Not only will such assistance save your valuable time and energy, it will give you a good like aura of efficiency and speed. In the end of your helper will be forgotten and you will be remembered. Never do yourself what others can do for you. Law Number 8. Make other people come to you. Use bait if necessary. When you force the other people to act, you are the one in control. It's always better to make your opponent come to you, abandoning his own plan in the process. Lure him with fabulous again, then attack you or hold the cards. Law number nine. Win through your action, never through argument. Any momentary triumph you think you have gained through argument is really a feeling victory. The resentment and it ill you are stuck up in stronger and last longer than your momentary change of opinion. It's much or more powerful to get others to agree with you through your action without saying a word. Demonstrate. Do not explicate.